Hey guys, Ryan here, bringing you another video, this time in the AMX 12T, France Tier 6 light type that I've never featured on the channel. Before we get into this, I'd just like to say that usually I upload my videos in the order with which I recorded them. However, I've got more 257 and FCM52T replays and I've uploaded a lot of them, so I decided to break my cycle and upload this one ahead of the other ones just to change things up for you. The good news is, I'm currently at tier 7 on this line, and when I get to tier 8, that means every time I play a tier 8 game with my clan or friends, I will be playing the light tank, so you'll be able to see some different tanks once I get to tier 8. So to get into this, I'm playing with Spandex and his friends tier 6 artillery. I'm in the MX-12T, it's a tier 8 game. We've got two light tanks, both tier 6s, and they've got a tier 8 light tank in the Vanguard. Now. I've said before, I'm not exactly the greatest light tank player, I don't play them too often. Um, not really my kind of tanks usually, although I've been enjoying these French ones, and I think it's because with the autoloader, I can do more damage than I could in other tanks. So, when it comes to fighting, these French lights are quite good at it, or from what I've seen so far. Because in the, the play session I played with... Um, Spandex here where I was grinding this tank, as I'm just going to sit in a bus and do some spotting to begin with. I played about 7 games in this, with like XP boosters to get the tier 7, and in the 7 games, I came number 1 in XP in 6 of them, and about 6 of those games were tier 8 games as well, so... This tank's been performing very well for me, and um... I say I'm not good at light tanks and I don't enjoy them, but it's quite wrong, I do enjoy them. And if I'm honest, I think it's mostly down to the speed. The Vanguard spots me, and I take a shot, and that's half my health gone. So go for a reel as a backup, wait till I'm unspotted, before going back into a bush to spot. But yeah, these front lights, I've been quite enjoying them, so hopefully I'll be, I can be able to get some decent replays for you. Now here's something I don't recommend. I'm going to try and hit an ELC at over 300 meters who's on the move. I fire one shot, get spotted, I realize that isn't happening, so I just go for a reload. So we're two tanks down, they've still got theirs. I'm now our team's only light tank, which at the time worried me because, as I said, I'm a shit. In terms of spotting, I'm not a very good light tank player. I can do damage in light tanks, I just can't spot very well. So me being the only light tank on our team makes me feel a little bit bad, because I feel the pressure trying to spot for the team, even though I know I'm shit at it. Like, honestly, I spot better in heavy tanks than I do light tanks. It's quite strange. So what happens is, I'm trying to keep an eye on the enemies because I don't want to go up and I'm going to be shot from multiple directions. I see the Oho, Tiger 1 at a distance. I only get the one shot off because I get spotted and I'm trying to get the second shot off but I don't want to stay there too long because being a tier 6 light tank I don't have very many hit points. So I started to load a premium clip because the Oho was there and he's just been sat in the middle of a field for ages so I started to load a um, premium clip for him but then I realised that the Vanguard's going for the artillery, which includes Spandex, so now I'm running back to deal with them. And this is going to be a good example of something, you're going to see the Vanguard make a critical error in his gameplay here. And that is, I'm the only light tank left on our team, and he's doing a light tank on their team. Tier 8 versus Tier 6. He should be killing me right now, but he's ignoring me to go for artillery. And now I understand killing artillery is great, because artillery, but... What we're going to see is he's running around, I'm chasing him. I'm trying to get the ram there because he's the only vehicle in the game I can actually ram in this thing and come out on top. So you see he's ignoring me, he's shooting spandex, he actually misses his other shot, and now he's reloading. See I rammed into him. You see he's still just looking at uh, spandex, and then I can kill him. Now. In that scenario, if you're in a light tank, it's the, the enemy light is going to have a better chance of killing you than the artillery is. So what he should have done is just killed me, and then because he's in a light tank, he's very fast and harder to hit. He should have just ran around and killed Spandex, but he just left me alive to try and kill the artillery, and he died because of it. So a huge misplay on the enemy light tank's part. Now, coming up to the game, I've forgotten I've even got pre load at this point. What I want you to notice is that medium tank on my team to my right, it is a Liam. And there's something important about him that I noticed at the start of the game. He's in the Yolo clan. 
Now, I know they are a very good clan. He's in a good tank, and he's in a good position. So what I'm going to do is... I'm going to help him out to kill the tire, because I don't want him to die. Now, you should always try and help your teammates, but there are some times where, like, it's not worth the risk to yourself. If you, like, want to win a game. In this case... So, like, if it's someone who's not being very useful, it's being a bit stupid, don't risk your own life to help him, because that'll just end the game for you if you both die. In this case, he's a good... He's from a good clan, does that mean he's a good player? Or that he'll have a good game, but he's in a good tank as well, and he's in a good position for that tank. So the fact he's in a good position, he's still alive, that tells me he's been doing good this game, and therefore he's useful, and I should try and keep him alive. So I'm sat in the bus, waiting. I'm going to wait here a bit too long. I should probably start relocating a bit earlier, but what you're going to see is put him in a light tank. The Leo's behind that building, and I eventually realised that I've got the mobility advantage, camo. The whole thing about light tanks is the ability to relocate. So what I'm going to do is, I back up through the bush. He goes back behind the building, and I realise now's the time where I'm going to relocate. So again, the camouflage and mobility. This is where I actually, like, normally I wouldn't have done this, and that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to make myself better as a light tank player, because I know how I'm supposed to play, I just don't do a lot of times, so like, I know I should be trying to spot, I know I should be not firing in certain situations, but I fire anyway because I want damage. So I've been trying my hardest to try and be doing a little bit better. As a light tank player, that is. So I get a blind shot, and then I just fire the last one anyway and go for a reload, but again, I've not reached my final position yet, because if he's heading behind that building, I'm just going to move to a position where I can see behind the building. And eventually he's going to be caught in a crossfire and he's going to have to drive forwards in front of the Leo and other teammates, or backwards in front of me. So I'm just trying to angle my tank in a good position. The Nomad, I'm really going to struggle to pan him uh, with my standard rounds. The VK is a two-shot for me, so that's good to know. And I'm waiting to see if he pops up, try and get a shot at the Leo. So Leo has realised he's at the move now. And I'm actually going to get a couple of shots into him, and then I'm going to move. And also, I'm going to reload. I've talked about this poor vault loaders. When you're relocating and moving, that's the time to reload. You don't want to start reloading if you're about to end up in a fight, so just keep it, like, try and keep track of what you're doing in your own head, so I'm just driving around trying to do spot, and that'll give me enough time to reload before I realistically need to fight. Now, of course, you might get it wrong a couple times, but that's fine, but just try your best to pick the most ideal situations to reload your autoloaders. Because now I've got a full clip instead of just two rounds here for this VK, where if I just kept the two rounds, I'd already have to reload. But now, I've got two shells left, and I know I only need one to kill him. So I feel safe going in with two rounds. Because I want to get rid of him now. So I'm going to move in, I'm going to hope I don't get spotted. I've managed to get here, and now's the time. I can take the risky shot. He misses me, and now I can take a bit more of a safer shot as he gets close to me. And now it's just the TD and the artillery that were platooned with that vanguard from earlier. Who, as I said, they may have had a good chance of winning this game had their vanguard killed me first and then killed Spandax. So again, another nice benefit of light tanks over like heavy tanks is at the end of a game on a big map, when it comes to clean up, you can get across the map to get a bit extra damage or assistance. Which is very frustrating when you're in heavy tanks. Now, of course, it's an STRV they've got, so he's got, like, really good camouflage. He's probably got a camo net and binoculars, so he does manage to outspot me. The yellow member in his Leo pings where they are. I let him know that I'm familiar. I'm just waiting until I'm unspotted, and then I'm about to move forward. But as I go round, um, the Leo himself actually gets the spot on the Udaz. And now I'm just going to run in. Armor Tiger hits him. I'm going to take a big risk here, but I want the damage, I'm going to go for the artillery, even though I'm still spotted, so he knows where I'm at. Get very lucky. And now, unlike the Vanguard, I've waited until the artillery's the only one, like, the only threat left. 
before I focused them, whereas the Vanguard was focusing the artillery when I was right behind them. So, not the craziest game result-wise, but two tiers down in a class of tank I'm not too comfortable with at the moment. I'm trying to get better. It's a good game, I think. 26,000 silver, 1,600 damage, 1,300 assistance, and 4 kills. So I tried to use my mobility, the camo, relocation, um, moving from one side of the map to the other, just using all my tank strengths. And you'll see in the post-game results that my decision to keep the Leo alive was a good decision because he did 1,700 damage and he also got like 2,000 assistance. Um, I just made the right choice in trying to help him as best I could. So, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.